Hi guys, so we are currently out working on our farm. Um, right now you're going to see a lot of mess behind us. There's a lot of high grass. Even out in the pasture, this goes back quite a few acres. Um, you can see it's all overgrown. We are just waiting on harvest so that they can come and chop all this out with the, um, with the tractor. So right now Manuel's working on um, getting some weeding done in our pumpkins. Say hi, Manuel. And behind me, we have our um, barn, which hopefully in the future we'll want to go ahead and really get in, put in some work on that and at least get it cleared out so that we can utilize it, maybe put some clear, uh, clear skylights on the top to allow some heat in, and then we can start to um, really get a greenhouse environment going on in there. Um, but anyway, just to kind of show you what we've got going on here. Um, you can see here that we've got a whole row from here to the fence all the way down. This is nothing but pumpkins here. We've got large uh, jack-o'-lantern pumpkins and we've also got um, plenty of white pumpkins as well as uh, the uh, sweet, I think they're called sweetie pie pumpkins as well. A lot of this that you see here, all of this Johnson grass Manuel is going through and he's weeding right now. I just got done mowing all the lawn here before I start to till up some more dirt. Over here you're going to see our um, garden boxes. We've got so far one, two, three, four. Um, there's going to be five, six. So there'll be six in this row here. And then where I'm standing right now, let me back up a little bit, you will see another four right in front of that where the where you see the black right here. You're going to see another one, two, three, and four. So that way we'll have 10 all together. Um, Right now they don't really serve much of a purpose, but here coming up in the fall, we will really start getting these garden beds ready for our um, harvest, sorry, for our uh, spring um, uh, flowers that we're gonna plant when it comes to either, if we decide on doing some bulbs in there um, or whatever have you in those there. The kind of the grassy knoll that's behind me here, this grassy area, um, this is all gonna stay open for now and we will allow, you'll see that some of our vines from our pumpkins are growing into it and that's fine that's going to help choke out some of this grass so that it's not quite as much to have to mow um, but so you'll eventually see us work into this space as well um, whether that's probably putting in more garden boxes here um, or maybe one more row we've got all together i think one two three no, sorry, three on the far side and then another four right here, but we've only utilized three of these rows. So in use, we've got about six rows growing over here. This is kind of our large, where the rows are in the dirt. This, that's kind of our large crop. The far side over here, we've got a lot of sunflowers um, behind me here. So there where I was, that's all the pumpkins. And behind me here, all of this right here, which we also have to weed out, is going to be a ton of gourds for a harvest for a fall as well. So we've got the pumpkins going on and the gourds going on. Right now I'm walking over kind of a lot of what Manuel's weeded out. He's laying this down the center so that we can choke out some of this grass and create a pathway. So you see he's pulling out what we don't need and just allowing it to go in the middle. That way it's gonna choke out and uh, kill out a lot of this grass here. That sounds terrible, but you have no idea what it's like to have to mow out all this grass every weekend. Um, let's see here. So there's all the gourds. If I work my way down right here, it's a little sparse. We had an armadillo plague. Um, essentially the armadillos came in and killed all, almost all of our sunflowers. I think to date we just have these tall boys right here that are growing. You can kind of see some peeking through. All the tall that you see right here, this is all sunflowers. Um, everything else, grass. So we've got maybe 20 sunflowers um, and they'll be the big boys. Next year, we've learned from our mistake. Next year, we'll do some smaller sunflowers. That way they can be a little bit prettier in bouquets instead of having these super giant things. And yeah, that's it so far. Um, just wanted to give you guys kind of an update as to what we're working on. Um, I'd say being done for the season so far, we're like 60% done. We have another 40% of finishing those boxes. Like I said, I'm probably gonna start tilling up the space that's over here with the rest of the garden boxes and manual maybe here in a little bit after we have dinner. He'll start uh, working on putting those garden boxes together. So the woods over there somewhere. So yeah, all right guys.
See you later.